Hey, how's it going guys? Technotus here, and today I want to do a comparison between the speakers of the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 10. Now we know that there's been a big improvement throughout the years with speaker. Now that's not the most noticeable thing because displays have always been the thing on people's mind when they're picking a smartphone. However, the quality of the sound matters just as much. Now if you guys can remember the first phone that had the dual facing speaker, I believe it was the HTC One X. That one had the most amazing speaker up to date. And now we have the iPhone 10 here that does have dual facing speakers as well. It's not exactly dual facing, but it does point down to the bottom. And there's one right at the earpiece right there. So over to the left side here, we have an iPhone 3G running iOS 4.2.1. Not that firmware even matters at all. I don't think it affects the speakers at all. But we're going to run it across the board here and we're going to see which one does perform better. Now it's pretty obvious that the iPhone 10 is likely going to come out on top. But we do have an iPhone here which does have the decibel speaker app. And this is going to test exactly how much louder it is. Now we're going to play a song. This one is a very popular song for non-copyright reasons. We're going to pop inside the iPod app here. And over here we're going to pop inside Apple Music. Alright, so we have both apps launched up right now. And we have the iPhone 5S ready to go. And you guys can see by me talking, I'm ranging roughly about 74 decibels. I'm going to be quiet just for a few seconds here. I'm going to show you guys how quiet the room is first. And then we'll play the iPhone 3G first. All right, so roughly at idle, we're ranging at around 38 to 41, which is not bad at all. It's not the most quiet room in the house, but we're going to launch up the iPhone 3G here and let's see how loud it is. Now, there's a distance of roughly about like 10 centimeters apart from each other. Now, we're going to move the device around just a little bit and we're going to move the speaker around, the microphone around and see how well it picks it up. So let's start with the iPhone 3G. All right, so it's not bad at all. It's very loud, actually. Now we're going to jump over to the iPhone 10 and we're going to play the exact same song. So there you guys go. You guys can see how much louder it is from a distance of roughly about 10 centimeters from the microphone. It's giving about 85 decibels, which is five more than the iPhone 3G. Now you guys can decide if that's a big enough range for you guys. Pretty much one for every year or maybe less. But right now it's not about how loud things are. Although the iPhone 10 is probably one of the loudest in the market. I haven't found any other phone that's this loud before. It's crazy. When you guys play a, a video, a Netflix video or like a YouTube video, you guys can see it firing away in your face. It's amazing. All right. And to make it a little bit more realistic, I'm going to be holding the phone roughly about 30 centimeters away. This is more likely in the line of where you're going to be holding your phone anyways. Now we're going to launch up the iPhone 3G and let's see how well it does. Alright, and you guys can see here that it ranges roughly between 68 and 70, which is not bad at all. 68 to 70 is roughly about the range of how you would be talking to another person standing in front of you. Now we're going to jump over to the iPhone 10 here and let's see how well that does. All right, so you guys can hear a very clear difference there. It's so much louder and that's all thanks to the front facing speaker right in the earpiece right over here. Now the iPhone 3G does not have that. The only benefit it has right now is because it shoots it down to the bottom and the microphone is right down here. So it should be picking up a better distance, but definitely in person, you can hear the iPhone 10 is so much better. All right, and now jumping onto the next test, we're gonna head straight inside settings and we're gonna head inside the sound. Now we're going to listen to some sounds. The most famous one is going to be marimba. Now you guys can see the volume is completely maxed out on both devices. So we're all good to go here. We're going to jump inside ringtone for this one. And we're going to jump inside ringtones for the FM 3G as well. Let's play ringtone marimba. Take a look at what this is idling at for a few seconds here. So right now it's idling roughly about 40 to 45. And you guys can see when I'm starting to talk, it's roughly about 75. So use that as reference. I'm roughly about five to 10 centimeters away from the microphone. Whereas this one's more likely about 50 centimeters away. So keep that in mind and let's ready and go.
So the loudness of the iPhone 3G is roughly the same as me being between the microphone right now, roughly about 75 decibels. Now we're gonna jump over to the iPhone 10 over here. Let's see how much louder it is. And there you guys go, we are ranging roughly about 75 to 81. Now that's a five decibel difference. In terms of numbers and digits, it seems pretty small, but roughly about every single decibel, it's a little bit louder. So there you guys go, it's pretty obvious that the iPhone 10 here is so much louder than the iPhone 3G. Now I gotta say that ever since the iPhone 4S all the way to the iPhone 6S, there hasn't been any improvements at all. I mean, they're very minor in terms of speaker quality, and that's mainly just quality, but about the loudness, there hasn't been really big of a difference. I mean, the iPhone 3G was just as loud as an iPhone 6. Now, when the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 came along, that was when there was dual facing speakers and improvements and everything like that, but it wasn't as loud. Now we have the iPhone 10 here, they pretty much boosted up everything, which was so wonderful. I'm not complaining at all, and I don't think Apple needs to be improving their speakers at all anymore. Not that they shouldn't, but I mean, it's so well done right now that the iPhone 10 is just probably one of the best speakers on the market so far. All right, guys, and this should be it for this little test here. If you guys did enjoy it and you guys want more of it, please leave a comment below telling me what you guys want to see, and I'll definitely check them out. If you guys enjoyed this video a lot, please leave it a thumbs up before you guys head out. And this should be it once again. Peace out.